Oh my gosh, this is mermaid hair. <gasps> this is mermaid hair. Hello friends and welcome to another video in my bathroom. If you are new here, my name is Miley and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Today, I'm going to be testing three overnight heatless curling methods. Stay tuned until the very end to see how my hair looks after using these three crazy methods. So without further ado, let's get on into the very first heatless overnight curling method. Okay, you guys, so first up, we're gonna test out these thingies. So basically, I'm just going to put it in sections and go for it. So I've got this really long stick. It's got a hook at the end. And the idea is to get a little bit of hair, hook it, and then pull the thing through. And they've got um, silicone like rubber things on the end that I guess help it grip your hair and stay in and not fall out. So you thread it through like so. And I found when I've experimented before that if you kind of twist it up here and hook it, that helps pull it through better. Isn't that so weird? Like, look at that. There's gonna be so many of these in my head. So I'm going to put you on time-lapse so you can watch me put the rest of these on. seriously talking to the camera like this but carry on I feel like you definitely get the hang of it once you trial and error so a good tip is to figure out the best angle to get it hooked to be able to pull it through without it tangling at the top I was more successful doing that on this side than this side and like it, you'll be able to tell if you have too much hair because it will like yank your hair through and like half will splurt out and it'll hurt so when in doubt, do less hair. I think it comes with 30. So my hair is really thick and it's really long. So I was able to do my whole head with exactly 30. The thing I'm most hopeful about with these curlers, um, as opposed to using my waver, is you know how with a waver, you just get the line. You get the line, it just shows the wave pattern. I'm hoping that this will elicit a much, a much more natural look and that hopefully because this is silicone, kind of rubbery material, that it won't cause a crease. So we'll see in the morning, if I even make it to morning, if this is worth it and it looks a lot better than I think waivers do and a lot more natural. I feel like, um, I feel like a maple, like a child is just gonna grab one of my waves and just like sing the song and like drag the wave ribbon around the mulberry bush or whatever the frick the maple song is. Um, that's what I feel like. But they're staying in, they feel super secure. So we'll see, I'll check in with you in the morning. Look at this hair. <laughs> it is crazy. It better look really good because I actually did not have a hard time sleeping last night after I found a position that kind of worked. It was fine. Let's take it out and I hope it's miraculous, I really do. Let's just take this front piece out and see. Oh, yeah, that, that's promising. That is very promising. Oh my gosh, this is mermaid hair. <gasps> this is mermaid hair. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I just want to rip it all out. What the actual heck? 
Oh. <gasps> okay, so like that piece didn't do very good, but. Oh. <gasps> it's mermaid hair. Okay, let's take out this side. Wow. So interesting. It's, it's a little more subtle than a waver, too. It comes out so easy. You just kind of got to pull. It doesn't hurt at all. Interesting. I think seeing how it's a lot more subtle than I thought it would come out, which I do like, but I feel as though it's a little, hmm, yeah, it's a little lacking. Scrimpy, can I help you? Hello. Hello. What you doing? I'm discovering if this is worth it or not. What do you think? Pretty subtle for what I expected. Yes, it's pretty subtle. Oh, it's just, it looks kind of like Hermione hair, Harry Potter number one. Link. I'm just gonna brush it out because I have a fear that once I brush it out, it's gonna completely go away. Yeah, pretty much. I think my mistake was I should have had damp hair when I did this. So this is definitely not what I like. I mean, I would like wear my hair like this down around the house, but it looks very much like, it looks like I have naturally poofy wavy hair, which I don't um, at all. I have the straightest hair imaginable, but I don't know, definitely not worth, it's super fun process to put these in your hair. And I think I will eventually try them again with more damp hair to see if that gives me less of a subtle look and more of like a real wave throughout. I don't know. It's interesting, that's for sure. Was this worth it? Not upon first try, but maybe I'll do a future video where I test it damp and see if that makes any sort of difference. I am disappointed. I'm disappointed that this didn't work out as well as I thought it would because it is a really fun process to put in your hair. So I would rate this, oh, I would rate this on dry hair like I did it with the caveat that it might be better on damp hair, I would rate this a four out of 10. So I don't think this will be the winner. I've got to try two more. And those are more traditional, so we shall see how those work. Let's test the next one. Okay, you guys, another day, another hair experiment. This time we've got sponge curlers. So I haven't used these since I was probably, I don't know, six. I think my tactic for trying to see to give these a real go and see if they'll work because I could do them super tight on my head and come out looking like Shirley Temple and know that, you know, they weren't gonna work out. But I think in order to really test them to see how well they work, I'm gonna try to do them more loosely and not like up super tight. I might like stop them like here-ish. So we shall see how this goes, but I truly have not done this in so long. So also, I should probably roll them this way, huh? Oh my gosh. The freaking muscle memory of it. I think I actually might, I might roll the bottom pieces closer to my head than the top pieces. Oh my gosh, this is giving me all the nostalgia. And my hair is like, almost dry, like a tiny, 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 tiny bit damp. Okay, so I hate it because I feel like I should roll it out. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna roll it mostly like that. This just like takes it back to like the night before dance recital when I was like six years old. Can't wait to see how this comes out. I know these will be, um, better to sleep on than the previous ones we tried, but they're not super comfortable. So I'm gonna speed you up and let's get the rest of these curlers on.
hilarious. First of all, I need to probably clip those back. Um, I might even clip this side too, um, just cause they're in my face and I've got to like eat dinner and stuff. But uh, I did not do them tight, tight, tight against my head like my mom always did to make like super Shirley Temple ringlets. I did them a little more down so the curls start a little further down. I had so many left. I got a pack of 48, almost 50, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have about 20 left over. So, and I did my whole head. It took me maybe five minutes. It was super quick, super easy. And uh, they're much more comfortable. They don't feel weighed down like the other ones, the first ones we tried did. I'm not super hopeful about how these curls are gonna turn out. We shall see in the morning how they sleep, how they look, how long they last. We'll just see it all. So, uh, curlers, gotta love them. So here's the deal. It's not the next morning because I experimented by taking one out that I've since rolled back up and it looked perfect. It's been a couple of hours only, but my hair was just like slightly, slightly damp when I did it and now it's totally dry. So I'm wondering if maybe I can go ahead and take them out. So we're gonna go ahead and take them out and see what happens. This could be a huge mistake or it could be totally awesome and we actually don't have to sleep like this and do it overnight for it to give us nice pretty curls. But let's take them out and see what happens. I'm so excited. I'll do one of these front pieces first so you can see. Oh, you guys, this, this is going to be crazy. I can already tell. And pulling your hair out of sponge curlers is always just such an adventure. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've only had this in for like a couple of hours and that's it. And it looks like this. Are you freaking kidding me? What the heck? Oh, 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 oh. I am shocked and amazed. This is awesome. Oh, wrong way. Oh my gosh, look how perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys, that is crazy. Okay, so clearly over here, this curl and this curl and this curl at the front, I think I did too um, thick and I should have done them all going the same way. So that looks bad, but let's focus on this side. The, oh, there's one more in there, LOL. Okay, okay, we're running into a problem. I see now, I understand. Let's brush them and see what happens. As, as I suspected, most of the curl brushed out, but it's clearly because I took them out two hours ago. So this is not, like I originally thought, a two hour long thing, although they do come out pretty darn curly. So this was a fail. This was a failed experiment, but I'll try them again at some point because I bet if I left them in overnight, they might stay better. I don't know though. I don't know. Let me know down below if you have ever tried out sponge curlers. Does it matter if you keep them in overnight? Like will they last longer or just fall right out? Because literally just, they just fell out just being out. So they gave great curl. It just falls out, at least on my very straight hair. Hello friends. Future Miley here, currently editing this vlog and here to tell you that I experimented off camera to see if sleeping on the curlers would help them stay longer and I can report that nope, it, the exact same thing happened to me when I took them out from sleeping in them overnight. They completely fell out. I'm realizing the mistake that I made was, let's travel back in time to 1997 when my mother would put curlers in my hair. What would she do? She would hairspray the heck out of each strand of hair before she put the curler in and then as soon as she took them out you hairspray it and you don't touch it that's how to keep them in if you want to keep them in so psa and future experiment reported there you go back to the scheduled programming so 
I would definitely give these for curl power. I would give like eight out of 10, knowing that you probably have to keep them in a lot longer than I did for your curl to stay. But really like the curl that came out of it was really good curl. Let's go on to our third curler. Okay, you guys, last, but actually the one I'm most hopeful about are these curling rods. They're flexible, they're bendy, they come in a bunch of different sizes, and it came with 42 in the pack, so we'll see if that's enough to do my whole head. This is the one I'm most optimistic about. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking easy. Look at that, that just like rolled right up, and then apparently you just kind of like twist them around. I do think the only tricky part is getting the ends to not curl out. But wow, once you get it going, it really just rolls like right up and nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have such high hopes for these. Let me put you on time lapse and we'll get the rest of these in my hair. curlers because these were so flipping easy to put in. They feel super secure, incredibly light. There's five million thousand different ways you could utilize these. I'm gonna sleep totally fine with these in. I think we're gonna have some really pretty curls to end this video on a super great note. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning everyone. So my hair stayed pretty darn well last night. I'm feeling super optimistic about this. So let's just start. I'm just gonna start taking them out. So let's see. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm about to have some Shirley Temple ringlets finally in this video. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, I hope this brushes out okay. Let me take out the rest and I'll check in with you. What the freaking heck. I look like Shirley Dang Temple, except for right here, look, this whole piece just like didn't curl. I don't know what the heck happened. Honestly, I don't know what to do about this other than I'm just gonna kind of finger comb it and see. Oh no. Oh, it's even worse when I finger comb it. <laughs> you guys, why has this whole video been a fail? I look like a freaking poodle. Dang it. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with the brush. I'm just gonna attack it. See what happens. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know. I feel like go out in public today. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I guess just like throw it up in a ponytail. Oh my gosh. Ay, yay, yay. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It is apparently a total failure. But I hope it was fun to watch me experiment and fail along the way. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more crazy videos like this where I do freaky weird things to my hair. And uh, let me know down below if I should try these methods in a different way, if maybe you've done them in a successful way and I'm just missing something here. Definitely let me know and I'd be willing to try them again. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!